Okay, so today I have a little bit of time and I thought I would make us a junk journal. I've been gathering up junk again. So, I don't think I'm going to use a, this book. But, oh, Bath and Body Works. I actually might want something from them. But we have, this is very light. I don't think I want that. I'm going to keep the heavier ones. Um, I may want some envelopes, but I almost feel like I would want the, oh, this is a very good one. This is lovely. So this is a foldy foldy, but it's out of the heavier paper. Okay, so that one's, that one, I'm going to put that in a pile of yes, please. Okay, so now we have some, I'm trying to find, this is a nice envelope. Okay, let's get our scissors out and cut that envelope. This one has uh, even another envelope in it, but I like this envelope. Let's see, anything in here? It's got a business reply envelope. That's kind of loosey-goosey, I don't like that. Okay, we've got, that's not very good, that's not very good. This is, ooh, these guys. Let's see if there's anything fun in here. I don't know what's usually in these ones. I'm not going to keep the envelope. It's very lightweight, and that's not going to work for me. Ooh, these are all just lightweight. Not good. This is good. This is good. A little bit heavier. Okay. Dear resident. Let's see. Ta -ta. I feel like I want a few of these. So we're going to. And people always say to me, you shouldn't show your address on your um, YouTube channel. But let me. Oh, we got a thing. We got a thing. Oh, look at that. We got a card. Um, but in Florida, Florida is a sunshine state and not just the sunshine state, but it's called the a sunshine state, meaning public records are public. So if somebody really felt like they wanted to find out my address, they can. Oh, here's a good one. There's a tag. It's just how it is. Oh, here's a good one with Diane Ravely packaging. I like that. I think in other states you could... Um, hide more but just doesn't work that way in florida okay 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 those are good heavy ones i was thinking maybe this would work but it feels awful light i have a plastic bag that i think we could use to make um things this we're gonna we're gonna glue some of these guys together do we see any Oh, there's a few good images. Oh, there's some pretty images. Okay, we're going to put this aside for more. Um, I don't know if we're going to use it in our junk journal or magazine collage. Gus Bilirakis, you cheapy. This is not very heavy. All right, they're the right sizes, though. Ooh, look at this one. Fancy ones. Ooh, I kind of love this. Do you love that? I love that. Is there a paper in here? Ooh. Should we try to open up that up nice and easy? Will it open? Capital One. Oh. Okay. I think for this one, because this is really heavy. This isn't heavy, but there's something heavy in here. I am going to go this way on this one. Because I have two of them. They sent one to me and one to my um, business DBA. Also, all available on the internet. Uh, 
which is why anybody can send me anything. Okay, this is, oh, look how nice that is. That is cool. Okay, we're going to do this. So this is going to have this insert. It already came with an insert. And this has this insert. And I think if you live somewhere else, it could be distressing. But I've lived in Florida for 20 years, and it's... It's just, when I hear people talk about privacy and this and that, I'm like, all right, you know what? Okay, so this is something you should know. You know why you hear all those Florida man did this and Florida man did that? It's because in most places, ooh, this has another heavy thing in there. Let's check this out. Oh, Capital One is really doing well for us. Do we wanna do the top of this one? Let's do the top of this one. That's a nice envelope. Um, so everybody thinks that Florida people are just worse than other people, but it's not necessarily, oh, this is a really heavy one too. Okay, it's not necessarily that, it's that we have the sunshine laws and so the, um, the media can, oh, this is a good one, USAA. USAA, oh, it's got a flap. Oh, it's got a flap open. We are so going to use that. I like that one. Um, oh, is this another flap? It's just that our, um, our public records are all public. You don't have to, uh, what do they call it? The Freedom of, of Information Act on anything. Everything is just available. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we're going to use this. So this is a yes. This one is a yes for sure. Where are those cool ones? Those two are yeses. And this one, okay. Here's another couple plastic things I pulled out. Ooh, look how long this one is, this opening. We're going to do this one. I shake. Um... I shake for a number of reasons, all very exciting. Number one, oh, and this has an opening thing in there. Um, I'm not sure I wanna use the opening thing in there, but I wanna use the opening thing. Uh, I have enough of these, I have enough of these, I have enough of these. This is an opening one. That's a very bougie restaurant. They're spending some money to offer to take me there. Ooh, it's got tickets. Oh, I love that one. Okay. Um, where was I? Yeah, I don't know. We just have sunshine laws. That's just how the world works here. I don't mind. That's when people get all funky about... Oh, look at this one. This one looks like an envelope. Oh, my goodness. We're just going to use these cool opening ones. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. I will probably glue this together because we're going to make all the pages heavier. So I'm keeping these to glue them together to make them heavier. Oh, DSW has an open one. Okay, okay, okay. And I think they probably have... Oh, there they are. Ooh. Doggy, we got some. Ooh, they got a lot of that gooey stuff. Um, we got tickets. Where'd our other tickets go? Tickets. Now, if you've seen my other junk journal one that I made into a Tim Holtz, I only do junk for the um, for the basis of it. So this is I'm constructing a junk journal. And then I've been watching some of these gals do um, abstract art. And so I might make this an abstract art color journal. Very bougie. Oh, look, my favorite murder socks. I love my favorite murder. I was listening to something truly horrible um, when I took my friend to the, to the doctor. And I'm like, no, no, don't come in. You'll hear the horrible. Thing. she's like god stop listening to this find some new podcasts and i was like yeah i have a point 
Okay, let's see. We're going to make covers first. So we want to find, I love this one. This one's super heavy and a pretty good cover to start with. So let's see if we have another one that size. We do. We're going to Mod Podge these guys together. Get my little garbage bowl up there. I don't think you can see it. Okay. Mod Podge. Mod. Oh, I should have peeled my Mod Podge off first. It's okay. We're just trying to get the middles because I'm probably going to be doing a lot of taping. I bought some really cute tape for this. Um, Seth Apter showed it to me. He's an artist in New York City. And he gets um, some stuff for his store. You can get it now in um, Simon Says Stamps or um, Scrapbook.com. I'll keep. I'll put a. I'll put a link. But he introduced me, and I'll put a link to Seth's store because I would get on his mailing list. He kind of shows some fun stuff, maybe a little bit ahead of time, because he has relationships with some of these people. Hmm. Do I want one more? I might want one more. Okay, let's see. Do we have another one that size? There we go. Okay, so this is going to be our front cover. And I feel like when I do these, people are always astounded at how I just jump in and start doing... It's my garbage, right? Like, literally, this is stuff that is for the trash or would be in the trash and I got for free and you know it's not like if I oops I feel like that's very thick right there it's not like if I dislike it I'm going to be losing I think I'm gonna put this on the front because it's a little bit more there we go all right oh that that feels like a cover okay now I have glue all over. So we have to find three more of these. There's one. Oh, that's not quite the size. That's almost the size. What happened? You guys were doing so good making all of them the same size. Okay. Oh, Gus Bilirakis came through. He's not really somebody I vote for, but he has a nice mailer. There we go. We've got three of those. We may need four because there's not quite a heavy one in there. What is this? Nope, not big enough. Uh, it could be. So if you're wondering why we get so many ads, it's because I live in a really bougie, upscale subdivision. The people here got some money. We're going to put this one in the middle. So we're going to do this, just to try to make the middle a little bit less flimsy, because this one's not big enough. I was talking to Amy's other grandma. So Brittany is my daughter and her son's mom, and, and her dad. Emmy's dad's, Brittany's man's mom, about how if you bought in certain real estate markets, you're still okay. And Johnny and I bought in a good real estate. Well, we got out of a bad real estate market here in like 2009 in Florida. And we had to pay to sell our house. So we had to pay money to get out of our mortgage but then we went to Colorado and bought at a pretty low market and luckily we were financially able to do that all of that because we've had good jobs as my friend says it's because you did stuff and it is so some of it's because I did stuff but also you were able to buy houses for a reasonable price and then like move up, right? So um, our first, our house we had to buy out was like a $125,000 house. And then we went to a $250,000 house and then we went to a $300,000 house, right? So 
it's all about, oh, I didn't put that on very straight. I'm gonna have to take that off. Um, it's all about being able to get into that first house, right? And I was a realtor years ago, so I understand how the real estate market works. And Deb, that I always talk about that I made the butterfly thing for, she's a realtor now. So I'm very aware of the real estate situation. Okay, this is going to be the front. This is going to be the back because this is going to be able to um, be messed with way more. And I might have to get better glue for the edges. We're not going to worry about it right this second, but I may have to Nuvo glue these edges to keep them down, or we might have to uh, tape them. Okay, now let's try to figure out what we're going to do next. So these are the ones I pulled out that I thought were cool. So I feel like this one's really cool with a flappy flap. Where's the Uggs? So this one flaps up and flaps down. Flap on, flap off, flap off. Is that as big as the other ones? Just a little bit smaller. So I would want it to come down to meet the bottom. I'm going to have most ever. I got to get rid of some of this. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, so I am going to want this to come like this. Okay, so that's going to mean this being attached to this. All right, this one is a flappy open. So I almost feel like that's one flap too many. Oh no, we could do this one right in here and then it would open this way and open out that way. Very nice, that's good. Excellente. What is this one? Oh, this is an open this way one. Good job, me. All right, let's see how many this is. So we have open, there, this, 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 open, open, and then the back. That's decent. Okay. I think we're going to make this the base of the book, and then if we want to do, didn't we have cool... We have some cool envelopes. Oh, we have this too. Hmm. This one's kind of little. That one's littler. This is bigger. Okay. All right. So... I think these we could attach to some of those pages. I think that's what I'm gonna do. What about these guys? What are these? So this is a pull out. This is an end open. Oh, I love those. Okay, so we're gonna go End open, end open, kind of deal, like that. And do we want those to stick? I think I want those to stick out of the top. Okay, so here, and don't worry, I will, I will reinforce it, but I almost feel like it needs the... Oh, this is an open this way one. Do we want to... Oh, I kind of think I want to put it on something to 
to get it out there. I don't know if it's this one because I like how this one opens. Let's see what we got. Let us see what we got. So if we fold this in half, And we do this to here. Do we get out to the edge? Now we get way more out to the edge than we were before, don't we? I like that. Okay, this is not going to be able to manage itself with the tape that we're using thus far. We are going to have to use some double-sided tape. So let's do this, and this is scrapbook.com tape. I am place agnostic. So the reason I like this scrapbook.com tape is because you can rip it with your fingers and the red line tape that really strong sticky red tape, um, you can't rip with your fingers. So I like red line tape, I like this tape. Um, we're gonna be using some joggles tape here in a minute. Much like glue, I just love all adhesives. Okay. Do we need a piece kind of in the, I feel like we need a piece in the middle. A piece in the middle. And if using your garbage to make a um, notebook or a journal or whatever isn't your jam, then for sure, skip this one. Because this is, you see what's going on here? This is what's going to be going on. It's not going to be very exciting. It's not going to get more exciting than this. I'm going to be putting all of my garbage together. Here we go. So see, this is really cool. So now we have this thing going on with a pullout and it has a flippy, flippy binding. Hmm, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so we're gonna, we are gonna use a wee bit of Mod Podge right here in the middle. Choo, 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 cause that doesn't have to be super exciting. And then we're going to do that same thing. So nice. So nice. We're doing it twice. So I did a, um, a video about how to cut things. Because at heart, I am a magazine collage artist. I love magazine collage. And... Uh, uh, a lot of the gals were mentioning that they shook or they had trouble seeing now and they're having to um, modify what art they do because of it, right? And I think that that is the point. That's the whole point is if you can't do needlepoint anymore because you can't see to thread the needle, then there's things you can buy that might help that. But don't stop doing art, find something else that can keep you entertained. Because I'm telling you, ladies, um, there's the funniest thing. Uh, Elizabeth Gilbert says in Big Magic that artists that are not entertained are not benign. They're like, um, they're like, oh, what is it? Golden Retriever puppies? that if you don't do something with your art, it is going to annoy you and you're gonna just get yourself in trouble. I love Big Magic. So if you ever get a chance to read it or listen it to it on Audible, for sure do that because Elizabeth Gilbert is a treasure. Okay, so there's that one. Did we have another one? There's another one. What are we gonna do with this one? Do we let this one be in the middle without? Yeah, see, this is what you wanna do. You want to not have them all on the same level, right? So when you open this up, it isn't like, 
oh, weird upper one, weird lower. Like you want it to have all different layers and fun stuff. Now I feel like I could flip one in. Where's this good one? This is on the top. So I'm starting to get a real fat back because lots of these fold over here. So, and this is skinny on the back. So I feel like, especially on this back, I don't know if I want it on the back cover. Let's do it on this one. Nope, that won't work. Ah, I guess it's on the back cover. Nope, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna have this flap out on the back cover. Now, I do want to reinforce it. Well, this is a cool one too. Why do I have so much cool garbage? Okay, could we do it this way? Could we hook this to here? Have this open. What if we do this? Hook this. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. It just took us a minute. And yet still, I have to reinforce this one. Okay. No, no worries. We got lots of stuff. That's not quite tall enough. This one is. Okay. So we're just going to slather this one with Mod Podge. And I have a tip I give you every single video. Super important, so listen to me. If you don't want to glue on your stuff, don't glue on your stuff. So it is ridiculous for me to have this sitting on the pile of things I'm getting ready to glue or I'm working on, right? Because the glue gets all over everything. It just doesn't bother me, but it might bother you, scooch over, in which case, don't glue on your stuff. Okay, there we go, that's perfect. Oh, another thing, don't cut wet glue with your scissors. Now these are, these are my play scissors, so I can cut wet glue with this without getting in trouble with myself. Okay, I don't wanna to get too close to there because then I'll cut the side of the envelope and my stuff will come out, right? So you, you gotta give yourself a little room. And a weird cutty thing won't matter because I'm putting tons of layers of stuff on, on this. Okay, here we go. Yay, that's fun. I almost want that to be right in the middle. It's either gonna be in the middle or the bottom. Well, I think the middle. Okay, we're going to do right in the middle. Uh, oh, these things. My friend Tammy, who I worked with for years, um, was in the mail business, direct mail, so sending out mail. Um, and I learned a lot about how to... So I was a graphic artist, so I designed these kinds of things. But I learned a lot about how male pieces work. Not M-A-L-E, M-A-I-L, male, you know, male in your post box. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. We're just going to stick. We don't need a ton for this. This is in a, this is going to be a protected flappy flapper one. So we don't need anything too exciting with it. Make sure our flap is open at the top. We're gonna kind of go in the middle. We're gonna line this up. Cause you can't really move the um, tape stuff. It just doesn't move that well. Okay. So this is good. Is, are these guys the same size? No, not quite. Okay, so now we have a flappy that comes out. We have the back flappy, little baby flappy. Okay. We've got that one that opens up. We've got this that opens out. Okay, I think that's plenty for what we've got going now. I think we got some fun gizmos. I'm not gonna throw this stuff away yet. And isn't there a cool tag in here? Hold on. See, I could make like three journals with this. 
Oh, we got our Diane Reevely. This is the cool tag I was looking for. I'm going to keep this because this is cardstock. So if we need a tag or something, um, this is pretty heavy. Ooh, this one's really heavy. I'm going to keep a couple of these. Now, I'm not throwing the other stuff away yet, but I'm, uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to start hooking these things together, right? So we are going to use, I have, let's see what we have. We have, this is black uh, joggles tape. I like that. I think that's what we're going to use. All right. So, if I was going to be doing the um, binding in this kind of tape, I would use that. But I am going to use this. And all I'm going to do is cut this off. I'm going to set it down here, like half and half. I'm going to set it down here. <laughs> I should I should undo my bloopers and then you would think that I'm really, really um, good at stuff, right? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, here we go. And we're gonna attach this to this, leaving a little gap, okay? So you always wanna leave a little gap because if you don't, then it doesn't, um, it won't, kind of flip over. And I watched a lady do this the other day and she did it really well. She had all kinds of like little um, tabby things and bits that she did to make it look pretty. Um, I'm not doing that. I am just gonna fold my tape over because it's garbage. Okay, there we go. Now the one thing you do wanna do is you wanna keep each of these um, really tight in here, really um, good on the bends. Okay, so now I am going to hook this one and I'm gonna fold it over like that right so that we know that the binding works all right so it needs to be about that long okay okay here we go i'm gonna put this down oops here we are going to stick this here okay get that really stuck down we're gonna cut this right here Let's see. Do we have to cut it? We don't have to cut it. Well, I was thinking we had to cut it. We're going to have to um, reinforce this a little bit more, though. I'm here to tell you. This is just putting the initial bits together. Okay? That's why I'm using black tape that doesn't really matter to me. Okay, there we go. So now we've got some flappy flappies going. Just keep pushing them down. Ooh, that's really cute. I like how that works. This is working great. Let's do one. We're going to do this one way high up over here, right? Yep. So let's get boop, boop, flappy out. So let's do this one next. Do we want it sticking up a little bit? I think we do. Piece of tape. Thank you, Capital One, for sending me the beautiful letters. Flip it this way.
Now, let's talk. Do we want it to be the same there? I want it to be a little different. I want all my layers to be a little bit different. So we want to go right with the capital one part. Now, let's talk about, oops, did I do this backwards? Yep, I did. All right, so we're gonna have to leave a ton. Where's the front? This is the front. Open, open. Give me one second, I gotta get this figured out. So this is the opening, so we have to go this way. Now the other one goes this way too, right? Yes. Whew, that was a close one. All right, there we go. So we need to leave this pretty big right here. Let's do this. Instead, up a little bit, so we have some fun uppy downy action. Flip this over, there we go. Flip this over. And then we can, here I'll show you this. We can cut this right here and just tuck that around. It's not very straight. Who put this on here like a drunk sailor? Oh, it was me. Okay, there we go. Cool. All right, we need a little double do ya right there to stick that flappy flap back on. If that one's off, nope, yep. It's because we hurt the integrity of the envelope. If you ever made envelopes, they, um, when you cut off this side, sometimes it hurts the integrity of the envelope. All right, that's cute. This is cute. This is not straight at all. Will this come back off? No. So we're going to have to live with it. And I'm here to tell you that nobody but you will notice that judgy pants when we get there. All right, this is a somewhat easy one. So we have to open our flappy flaps, right? Because we don't want to glue them in. Let me move that for a minute. And this goes the whole way. Oh, almost the whole way. And this we have to push in because we have that extra bit from that one weird tape thing. Elizabeth St. Hilaire which if that was my name, literally, that is how I would say it every single time. Um, who makes joggle stencils, was making a project the other day, and she said something so cool. She said, you wanna have mistakes because then people know you made it and you didn't just buy it. And that is the best quote I have heard all week. People will know I made whatever I give them because it has mistakes. Okay, there we go. So I wasn't gonna try to do this whole thing in one big piece because it's kind of kerfuffly. So we're just gonna go right down here to where it comes off, we're gonna go around, okay, there we go, and open, flappy, flappy. So cool, it's already looking cool, don't you think? I think it looks cool. I would use this for my journal, in fact, I'm going to. Boop, all right, there we go, what's next? So in addition to, do we want this one to go all the way to the bottom and be like a little baby one? What do we have going on here? This is the back. This. Goes here. I 
don't know about this one. You know what I'm going to do with this one? I think. Yep, I'm going to make this a pulley outie in here. That's just too little for a base piece. Okay, so this one definitely goes right here. So let's let's hook this one on here. Now we're kind of going, whoa, let's do it the right way. Tara Jacobson. Okay, so this is going to go this way. And then we will get out the fat tape for one last um, hook them all together. Now you could do this with any tape, right? I just happen to like black tape and I think I'm gonna paint some of this black. Okay, so that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Let's do, oh, this is a opening, oh, 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 we got so much gizmos going on. Now, how do we want this? Do we want this, so this, no, that's kind of, I'm right-handed, so I want this to go this way. I think I will do this one on the bottom, though. Yeah. I don't want everything to be on the same level. So this one, I will hook to the bottom of that. All right, all right. Here we go. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. A little book right there. All right, last but not least, let's hook these two together with the big dog. <laughs> oh, I haven't used this one yet. So we are going to Go over the edge and then cut this down. Ooh, did I go too far over? I might have gone too far over. Hold on. We're going to take a minute to get this stuck. Oh, no, that worked out perfect. Look at that. Right over top that, another one. Okay, now this we have to cut off. There we go. Looks great. Looks, ouch. Just gave myself a paper cut. Okay. So let's make sure this works, that we like it. Yes, yes, yes. Flippy, 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 and the back. Oh, it works just fine. Yeah, yes. Okay, so now what I wanted to show you was I have really cool tape. With a rip, these tape boxes are really awesome. Watch, they come with this little tape cutter. See, I did. Darn it, paper cuts hurt. Okay, so we want to. I think I. So I have two kinds. I have, and this is fabric tape, and then I have some other fabric tape, but look how beautiful this is. Look at how gorgeous this fabric tape is. Okay. 
So, do I want to I kind of think I want to paint everything either white or black. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to paint everything white first. Of course, I got the last, I got the white on the last one. Only because, and I'm not using gesso because I will probably be, um, and I, this doesn't have to be perfect white. Um, I'm not using gesso, which you guys know is a really good base for almost anything. And the only reason I'm not using gesso, because I do love it, is because it has, um, the reason it's such a good base for everything is it has um, texture to it, like it's a little gravelly grainy, and it um, eats your Posca pens. I don't want my Posca pens eaten. Okay, so, but this I feel like could give me a really good background to start doing stuff on. I just don't want it to be so Oh, I might have to use my my bougie Windsor and Newton instead of my Dick Blick student grade white paint. Okay. Oh, look at that. Nice. Some texture. Okay. I am going to paint this. This is just going to make you nervous because I'm not going to wait the correct amount of time and I'm going to have all kinds of stuff in it and then it's going to make you nervous. And uh, so I'm going to paint this and let it dry and then we'll be back. 